Hello guys, nice to see you again. After a very long time, yesterday I decided I had to go to a shop. I had to see people, I had to, I had to see merchandise all over the place because this isolation period this year and the last year were terrible and you all know that. So my first visit after a long, long time was to a perfumery, obviously. Uh, the, I'm talking uh, now about a brand. I don't know exactly if it's a Romanian or an Italian brand. Definitely the, the uh, perfumes are made in Italy. Uh, information that I found also on their website. It's, uh, the house is called Morph. It is described as a luxury experience, um, but I couldn't find any information about the house, about the... Um, who owns the brand? I don't know if they're Italian or if they're Romanians. I found two websites. I knew about the fragrances. I saw them online. Uh, they are sold here in Romania in different shops and online. Uh, and also between the perfumers and the perfume lovers that exchange and sell their fragrances. Um, they are called, uh, as I said, Morph. Um, what the one thing I know is that the the fragrances are created in Italy. Uh, I found two websites: the Romanian one, morphparfum.ro, and uh, .com, morphperfume.com. Um, I don't know who the perfumer, the nose behind those perfumes is or are. Um, don't know much about them. Couldn't find any many information about them. Uh, the one motive I went into the shop was because I was looking for the Discovery set. They have the, uh, two collections, the Les Exclusives and um, uh, the, lux the Luxury Collection. And the Luxury Collection has a Discovery set. It wasn't available online, it was only for pre-order here in Romania. So I decided to go into the shop. Uh, they have a shop in the center of, the Bucure of Bucharest. It's called the Luxury Perfume Shop, something like that. And uh, they didn't have the discovery set, but I have to say that the consultant there, the, the, that the lady was so nice to me. Uh, she had the patience to show me each perfume, uh, to let me smell it, to get um, blotter with each perfume they had testers on in the shop. That's why... Um, because I told her I want to review the house. She was so nice and she uh, she gave me bladders of each fragrance. So this is going to be a bit longer. And that's why I also have my tablet on because I'll need to read the components. I wasn't able to uh, keep in mind all the, the fragrances and their components. Uh, one thing I have to say, it was a nice surprise for me to discover that this shop in Bucharest also sells the Testament Collection fragrances, which is another curiosity of mine. I'm going to talk about them in a the different video. Um, Morph perfumes are um, niche fragrances. Uh, they are uh, for a niche house, medium priced, about... Uh, 130 euros a bottle uh, the, the, it is an um 100 millimeters bottle so it's a big bottle uh they look very very nice uh, the the packaging is very very nice i don't know if i will be able to show them to you this is the cardboard box um th this is how it looks like this is a set and this is the fragrance. Uh, the bottles are very simple and elegant. Uh, names are interesting. Uh, components are interesting also. I'm going to start reviewing the um, uh, luxury, the luxury uh, line, which is comprised of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, um, uh, no, 12. 12 um, perfumes, 12 fragrances. Uh, from, uh, from this line, I only have five of them. And the lady there was very nice and gave me also two of the samples, um, which I'm going to review. I'll take it in the order. Uh, they are um, 
put on the website because it's going to be much easier for me to remember which fragrance I reviewed, which not. Actually, identified uh, in the other line in Les Exclusifs, uh, a favorite of mine. So, let's start. Luxury Correction Morph Vapor. I'm going to explain a bit. Uh, although uh, Vapor in English could mean vapor, in Romanian, Vapor means a boat, a ship. So, this is a fresh fragrance. Uh, it has... Let me spray it on my hand, because if I have only two, it would be easy to spray. If I had them all, it would be difficult. This one, I can spray. If you hear something strange, it's my doggo around here. So, don't be scared. It's just the surrounding sound. So, Vapor. It's a bit fresh, it's a bit powdery, it's a bit, it's a bit sweet, like a fruit salad in the middle of the summer. Um, the, the, all the fragrances have great, great uh, silage and great, great uh, projection. Uh, they are very long lasting. I, I had the blotters from last night. The smell is the same didn't deteriorate, just toned down a bit. So, for Vapor, we have uh, in the top notes, lime, mandarin, black pepper. I don't know how the black pepper smells. Middle notes, peony, um, raspberry, forest fruits, and um, geranium, geranium flower. On the base, we have car caramel, amber, vanilla, Madagascar vanilla, and sandalwood. So, I can feel the sandalwood. I can feel the Madagascar vanilla, the caramel, um, and a bit of a mandarin and lime in the top. But they, soon, uh, they very shortly disappear. Um, it's a gourmand, uh, sweet powdery fragrance very nice very in the f uh, family of baccarat rouge actually there is another one who's more similar to baccarat rouge in this collection from morph but this is good fragrance very good fragrance and i think i smell something which i don't recognize and maybe it could be that black pepper i don't know i'm assuming so very sweet very nice very long lasting the next one from the same house it's actually a very famous one very well sold here very searched for it is called zeta zeta is exactly but exactly like baccarat rouge um it's in the same family of sweet powdery baccarat rouge uh tinhare from um uh, clown uh, ariana grande cloud the same same family I forgot the house for Tinhare, that's why I made a break, because I cannot remember. Uh, Jean-Claude Delana is a designer, I don't remember the name of the house. It has on the top... Um, uh, cocoa, in the middle ambergris, and on the base almond of Avola. This one is identical with... Baccarat Rouge. It has great silage, very long lasting, powdery. I think everyone knows Baccarat Rouge or Cloud. So, powdery, sweet, long lasting, not overwhelming, very feminine. I actually consider Baccarat Rouge a very feminine fragrance, although I know men who like it and wear it. Um, let me. And yes, the first one uh vape uh, vapor is like this one but with a bit of lime and mandarin so it they are kind of the same very interesting very very nice fragrances moving on because you all know baccarat rouge so moving on to the others you don't know 
I will start one that I love the name. It's called Indomable. This is a stronger fragrance. Uh, unlike the other, those uh, first two I told you about, this is a stronger fragrance. Maybe a bit of, I don't know, with this Paham from Dior. I don't know exactly, as far as I can remember. This one is more unisex, although the um, bottle has a pink uh, label. This one is not a pink fragrance. This one is a um, woody fragrance. Um, it's a, it smells like something familiar and I can put my finger on it. But it's nice. It's very nice. It has on the top wood, cashmere and uh, powdered sugar. In the middle it has laudanum, patchouli and nutmeg. And in the base it has white musk, vanilla and amber. So this one is a woody sweet fragrance, very long lasting, very good projection also. More unisex, very, very interesting for a man in a suit. Uh, more suited for winter, more suited for uh, night, for um, after the sunset wear. For an elegant event, maybe a cocktail, for work also, but for a more um, black tie work, if I can say so. Nice fragrance also. Moving on. It has... Uh, the next one is... No, let's start because it's here and it's closer. This one is called Kolonaki. Um... I find it a bit manly, this one. Interesting name, Kolonaki. It sounds Greek. I actually didn't went online to see if Kolonaki is a word in itself. So, shame on me. On the top, it has grapefruit, mandarin, basil, uh, star anise, and truffles. On the middle, it has pink pepper, kimion, cardamom, and um cinnamon on the base is add wood patchouli vetiver and laudanum also woody but with a bit of fresh notes a bit manly i mm, from the vetiver i think which is very pronounced which i can feel um also the cinnamon you can feel the cinnamon in this one and it's nice because the label is um uh, darker red uh, reminds of the cinnamon color very interesting this one very very elegant very nice very uh, well suited for winter uh, and uh, night wear very it's a very very elegant perfume i think this is my favorite from the luxury line I, um, it's simple because i love cinnamon and that is why i think i like it very good projection very very good um and the last one from the luxury collection, it's called Cruda. Cruda in Romanian means raw, but also it means a very bad person. So let's see about Cruda. Also mainly, uh, mainly fresh, sweet, it has on the top bergamot, uh, cedarwood, black chimion in the middle, uh, damask rose, cinnamon, and nutmeg, and on the base, amber, patchouli, cashmere, laudanum, vanilla, musk, and tonka beans. It's woody sweet, actually. It doesn't have wood. It has the uh, cedarwood, but no, no pure wood, and it's woody sweet maybe a bit gourmand but just a bit elegant also unisex i find it appropriate uh, in uh, on men and women equally very very nice so i can look forward for the um, discovery set because i subscribed and i asked the, that nice lady in the shop to announce me on when the discovery set will be available i want to try them on my skin all of them 
because they are so so nice so all in all the luxury the luxury line is very interesting it has good fragrances uh I don't know if they are overpriced. I wouldn't say they are overpriced because they are niche fragrances. I'm sorry, I regret that I couldn't find any more information about this one, but I have to admit that the uh, shop, the little perfumery looked amazing, very elegant, very discreet, uh, each client treated with respect because uh, of the distancing, social distancing and physical distancing, there were uh, only one client allowed one time in the shop and this, that uh, made me feel safe. I was able to listen to the consultant to, uh, when she told me uh, about each fragrance. I was able to try them with my mask on, of course, but I had the time to uh, put that close to my mask, the blotter. I could try them outside, so it was very, very nice, very good service and i love the whole experience moving on to the other line les exclusive line here i have all of them there are three nine one two three four five six seven eight nine perfumes in this line we have the first one is called animal this is a harsh fragrance animal fragrance um i find it more manly than unisex and it has sandalwood i think in the middle because it's a description here and it doesn't list the notes exactly how they are so it has sandalwood iris musk Ambroxan. It has some spices. I don't really get the sandalwood, but I get some spices. It's a man fragrance. Very nice fragrance, very elegant also. I think the, the whole house is very elegant. Uh, I didn't find anything fresh, anything uh, go to the gym like fragrance. No, they are all very elegant for mature uh, characters, for persons who are uh, who have established their taste in fragrances, uh, not for the undecided. Moving on to the next one, one that I really, really liked, Rose J, it's called. Oriental, it has burning wood, whatever that means, incense and rose, oriental rose. It has says here that the dominant note, the oriental rose, it is layered on a bed of raisin and wood. So it is an oriental fragrance, strong, woody strong, with oriental rose, more woody than rose, it's a good wood rose fragrance very very good one i love this combination wood and rose i have uh, several fragrances that have as main elements roses and wood and i really really love the combination it's a mix and a contradiction actually i find it like a contradiction um the delicate rose with the raw wood and it's it's very for me it's very interesting this combination and very appealing I actually find this one, although it could be because it's harsh, it's a bit smoky, a bit harsh. I find it very, very interesting for a lady, maybe in a gown, because it creates the same contradiction like between wood and roses. It's a great, great fragrance. This one, it's a great fragrance. I, I so regret that for the Les Exclusive uh, line, they don't have the Discovery set because I would have loved to own all of them great great fragrances this one is a difficult to wear fragrance though not that all taste fragrance like this one is a difficult fragrance to wear the next one is called a21 a21 it's like rose j harsh smoky 
It has Madagascar vanilla, Osmanthus, Chetalox and Androxan with white musk and some uh, forest fruits. This one also very interesting, more manly than unisex. I find it perfect on a man, very elegant, very mature, very wintry, very after the sunset fragrance. Also very, very good fragrance. This house is a real surprise for me. I smelled the fragrances yesterday in the shop. I smelled the blotters, but then I took a break and I'm, I'm smelling it now. And this is such, such a great surprise, this house for me. Next one is called number eight. Number eight, it's also oriental with Zanzibar vanilla, iris, uh, damask rose. This one is more delicate. This one is very delicate. This is ladylike fragrance. With the vanilla, with the Madagascar or Zanzibar vanilla, very pronounced, but not gourmand pronounced, very interesting, sweet. It is sweet, a bit exotic, uh, not that rosy, more like vanilla, vanillish, very, uh, very, very ladylike. This is a ladylike fragrance. This is an easy to wear fragrance, it's not that strong, it's not harsh, it's not overwhelming. The next one is Iconic. Iconic is fresh. It has sandalwood, uh, iris, musk, ambroxan, white flowers. Yes, this one is fresh, but although it, if, even if it is fresh, I, th I find it more appropriate for a man, I don't know why, because it has white flowers and men and white flowers, I don't know, in my mind they don't mix well. This one is very, very nice. It's a summer fragrance, summer spring fragrance, all day wear fragrance. Very, very nice. I find it suited, I don't know, I, I imagine a man dressed in white on a yacht in the summer, on the ocean, in the ocean, maybe, I don't know, on Lake Como, because those are Italians, so very very nice fragrance also a uh, few of them uh, i have to say few of uh, them are actually i find them actually suited for summer but this is one of them iconic i wouldn't call it iconic by the name it's not something that i haven't smelled before but it's very very nice maybe that because i don't really like frag uh, fresh fragrances uh next one is um I will leave my favorite to the uh, fragrance uh, to to the last description. I only have three more, so this one is called um, as in um, U M H H. Oh my God! No information about it. Four woody notes. This is all that says. Very interesting. Very manly. Easy to wear. Not overwhelming besides the woody notes it has something sweet maybe some vanilla it says it's sensual it's tangible it's an extract of pure life a pressured wood mix for the rebel ones yes this is a good description it is for the rebel ones woody fresh very nice fragrance for a man more like uh, an aftershave fragrance if you ask me uh, after shave smell but this is a very very nice fragrance sexy for a younger guy not pretentious not uh, precious not very very elegant more casual like fragrance but nice also very nice next one is miyazawa which i have no clue what it means it says here that it is an aerial meeting between roses, mugetto, which I think is um, 
Lily of the Valley, Wood, Ilang Ilang, and Tubarosa. I can feel the Ilang Ilang. A bit of Tuberosa, but not that much. No Lily of the Valley, but Lily of the Valley is also a very delicate white flower, so it doesn't have a strong smell if you do not uh, combine it with some other white flowers that are stronger. Here it is combined with Tuberosa and Ilang Ilang, so the overall effect is nice. Uh, I cannot feel the rose, but still, those are from yesterday, so the notes faded. Very nice, very summerish fragrance, very going to the beach fragrance, to the exotic beach fragrance, drinking a cocktail, looking at the pool, looking at the waves, in the summer, in the sun. So, good fragrance for a lady, good fragrance for a younger lady, uh, because it's an easy to wear fragrance, very nice, very airy, very sweet, fresh, flowery, nice one. Miyazawa, I don't know what it smells. I should have looked up the words before. My bad. So, the last one is called Two. This one was my favorite in the shop. I don't know now. It still is. It's a manly fragrance. More than unisex, it's more manly. It says here that it is sensuous. Of course. Patchouli... Mirth, cedar, amber, and vanilla. Very good fragrance. A bit overwhelming, not easy to wear. More appropriate for a man, but I like it. I don't know why it reminds me of Le Mal, Fleur de Mal from Jean Paul Gaultier. Doesn't have anything in common, but it reminds me, it gives me the same feeling that that fragrance gave me. A strong man in a suit, a black suit, a black tie, an elegant event in the evening or a negotiation room at the office with stronger men, with strong men. This is why I would love to wear it with a pencil skirt and a white shirt. Very, very good fragrance. Very nice. Difficult to wear, but definitely worth giving it a try so let's keep things medium because it, they're not shorter uh morph house it's a good very very nice surprise if you have the chance try them on uh see online uh, the italian website uh, the dot com website morphperfumes.com has the discovery set and i as far as i can uh, i saw they have uh, the free delivery at least for europe so um, it's about 40 euros you will discover the luxury line you will not discover the less exclusive line but if you get the chance to try them on in the shop please do so because they are very very nice fragrances uh they would be a great addition to one's collection you can also find them online i i wouldn't advise uh on uh buying them blind some of them are very difficult to wear most of them are very difficult to wear uh, there are only two or two Miyazawa and um that I would advise on um, blind buy uh, because they are fresh, they are more normal, more lighter to wear. Uh, uh, for the others, I would advise you to try them on. If you like Baccarat Rouge, then go for, the, for Zeta because it is the same. No difference whatsoever. Well, there are some difference, but I would say... 99% it's the same if you like the uh, Baccarat you will definitely like this one uh, also I don't know if you like uh, powdery sweet fragrances you will like this one and you will like also Vapor uh, so all in all I love Morph I definitely love Morph they're medium priced but the discovery set is going to worth every penny. Uh, I look forward to having it. I will maybe put some pictures with it when I have it. Uh, go to the shop, go online, give them a try. They're very, very good fragrances. 
Thanks for watching me today. If you like my videos, you can follow me also on my blog www.princessana.me, on my Instagram princessana.me or on my Facebook page princessana.me and if you like me that much, please subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.